Bad data kills AI projects, ruins dashboards, and leaves you explaining to leadership why the numbers don't add up. But what if you could catch it, quarantine it, and keep your pipelines flowing the whole time? That's exactly what Databricks DQX does. What's in it for you? By the end of this video, you're going to know how to use DQX to validate your data, automatically quarantine failures, and impress your team with a more reliable pipeline. This is the kind of skill that makes hiring managers lean in during interviews. Think of your pipeline like airport security. Most passengers go straight through, but if someone triggers the scanner, they're pulled aside to a separate line. DQX is your TSA agent. But for data, letting the good records fly while isolating the questionable ones. Databricks Labs built DQX as an open source Python library for Spark and Delta live tables. It doesn't just validate your data, it can profile it, suggest rules, apply them row by row or column by column. And when records fail, they're automatically there to quarantine that data into its own data set, complete with audit logs. That means that your downstream jobs never stop running. We start with a bronze table of retail orders that includes some problems. Some bad emails, missing customer IDs, invalid country codes, future timestamps, even some duplicates. This is a real world situation that happens all the time. So take a look at this code. Here we are going to define validation rules in a YAML file. We're looking at things like customer ID must not be null. Email must match this regex pattern. Country must be valid and order timestamps can't be in the future. Then we will run one DQX function to split clean data from quarantine data. Here's what that looks like. Good rows move forward and proceed into the, your production data sets and failed rows are quarantined with detailed error messages. Clean rows move on to our silver layer, while quarantine rows go to your quarantine table. Looks like this. Notice the error and warning columns. They tell you exactly which rule was invalidated that caused this data to end up in the quarantine table. Finally, we fix some bad rows, revalidate, and we can merge them into silver. In some cases, you may have to identify who the owner is of that data and resolve it in the source system. Always a good practice to make sure it gets resolved in the source. Otherwise, you're going to have to continuously claim this data. Same record over and over again. Finally, we fix some bad rows, revalidate, and merge them back into silver. Continuous flow, no breakage. So. Now that you've seen how DQX automatically splits your data into valid and quarantined sets instead of breaking your pipeline or silently letting bad records slip through, you keep everything flowing while still capturing every issue for review. Here's the mistake that I see all the time. Teams are setting up quarantine tables, but they never look at them ever again. Don't do that. Those tables aren't just your dumping ground. They're not your junk drawer. They are your feedback loop. They give you the audit trail that you need along with the context to fix the upstream issue and reprocess those records later. Ignoring them is like putting bad food in the fridge instead of throwing it out. It's still there, rotting away. Bonus mistake trying to handle quarantine with Lightflow declarative pipelines. Declarative pipelines are built to enforce rules strictly. If the data fails, the pipeline fails. That's great for schema enforcement, but terrible if you need continuous data flow and visibility to the data. It's like shutting down your entire business because one passenger tripped the scanner. With DQX, Good records keep flowing forward while the bad ones get quarantined. Two very different use cases. Know the difference, and you'll look like the senior engineer in the room. If you found this useful, be sure to like and subscribe. 
drop a comment, let me know what you'd like to see me cover. And in the meantime, go ahead and check out more about Lake Flow Declarative Pipelines in this DLT video right here.